It's already been a wide open season in Amsoil Grand National Cross Country Racing and throw some mud on our previous event and it got even more unpredictable. Chris Pithel broke through for his first win of the year. Points leader Adam McGill struggled tonight. Let's rack him up again today and see what happens. Let's add some history to the 2015 Amsoil Grand National Cross Country Series schedule. The first ever Tomahawk GNCC brought to you by Dunlop here in upstate New York. This is all presented by Maxis, and GNCC Racing is an AMA National Championship. Here's your championship points leader, Adam McGill, and the contender right behind him, the number two, Walker Fowler. Everyone else hoping to break through like Chris Bithel did at our previous race, close the points gap up. That would include not only Bithel, Jared McClure, who's been strong this year, and your defending series champ, Chris Borch. So a pretty wide open field today. And yes, they're starting wide open in a field. Jason Wygant here to give you the call for Racer TV. And a whole shot to Bithel. And do not adjust your set. This is the way things have been for Bithel in 2015, getting good starts. And in about 10 years of GNCC racing previous to that, I don't remember ever seeing good starts for Bithel. So clearly he's figured something out the Maxis Suzuki Man showing more of the strangeness of GNCC. These riders are pounding through the mud, but it's actually pretty hot and dry today, and most riders are actually more worried about dust in the open sections than they are mud down here in the woods. Looks darn muddy down here. Looked like Chris Boric was second early on his new Yamaha. It's Walker Fowler at the back of the pack. Not a good start for him. Third was Bryson Neal who continues to mix it up with the established players. And now look, indeed, we do have a little bit of dust and the higher ground. Bithel, Boric, Neal coming through. And the points leader, McGill, fourth. I think I saw Kevin Yoho through and then uh, Brian Wolf. And there's Fowler trying to make tracks toward the front. He's got Jared McClure, the number four, right in front of him. And a little break. Not a good start today for Jay Shadron. He'll have some work to do. We go back to the front of the pack, and on lap one, you see some of the course officials there making sure that uh, Bithel keeps it on course, really getting to test Bithel's ability to read new trail. Now that he has to get used to leading these events on the first lap, and it's an all-new event, so the trail not exactly burned in like some of the other tracks would be. And we're racing here because the Unadilla GNCC in upstate New York We've been competing at since 2005, draws a huge crowd. Brian Wolf getting tangled up there with the four of McClure, the two of Fowler. Anyway, that Unadilla race so successful, why not come out and do another one at Upstate New York? And what did I say before about the riders being concerned about dust? Well, here you can see why. I'm sure they wish they were down in those mud holes like we saw early in lap one. Out here, they're all having to eat it, courtesy of Chris Pithel, who takes a hand off the handlebars momentarily, maybe dealing with a little bit of arm pump here on the first lap. But he has a nice gap right now. I don't think Boric in the uh, field section can get much closer than this due to the dust. So Pithel rolls on. How interesting would it be if he could make it two in a row? And in wildly different conditions, the last race was an out and out mutter. Now back into the woods comes Bithel, Pennsylvania. Now one of the veterans. I remember him breaking through uh, with an old team they used to call the Looney Tuned team, and then had a good ride with Can-Am for a while. Switched over to the Suzuki, and I really didn't miss a beat switching to that machine. At one point, I think was sharing a lot of information with Boric, who rode those Suzukis to many, many titles. Uh, but now Boric has switched to a Yamaha. Good battle here. The top five have broken away a bit. Then you've got Brian Wolf chasing down Yoho, McGill, Neil, Boric, and Bithel. McClure and Fowler back here. They've got to work their way up. You have Fowler, who's won a lot of these races and is second in points. And McClure, no stranger to top threes, getting up on the podium. This is not where they want to be. Things heating up up front. McGill starting to put a little heat. 
on the killer bees of Bithel and Borich up front. Let me be fair, it's killer bees part due. The original Killer Beast duo was when Bill Balance and Chris Boric were battling for all these uh, championships and race wins. They had a torrid rivalry. Uh, Balance has now retired. Bithel has done a great job. So he and his buddy Boric, we refer to them as the Killer Bees, and they are killing the competition right now. How about this? Chris Bithel with the Max's tires hooking up. And back into this uh, virgin terrain. New trail cut here. A little bit smoother than he was on lap one now that he knows the lines. And there you see McGill just circulating in third, looking for an opening, but I don't think pushing the envelope too much. Although the problem is, if you don't force it there in the woods, well, that's just more dust you're going to have to eat if you're still behind them here in the field. And right now, Chris Bith will take advantage of a good start in the dust. Racer TV is brought to you by Amsoil. And by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And Chris Bithel continues to lead here this Dunlop Tomahawk GNCC, part of the Amsoil Grand National Cross Country Series. And he's opened it up a bit over Chris Boric. When will Boric get his first win on the Yamaha? Boric with six championships and counting in GNCC racing and is the all time leader in event wins has been consistent this year switching to the Yamaha. As you see Bithel pounding through the rocks and the water. Here's Boric in second. Will today be the day he finally breaks through and puts his new machine on the center of the stage. He's gonna have to deal with McGill who's pressing him pretty hard. McGill had a good race going in our previous event, points leader, then had problems late and finished ninth. So he needs to reestablish himself and he has. He's actually gotten around Boric now back to third and McGill looks like he wants to go he's gotten up to the rear tires of Bithel Boric still hanging there certainly making his presence known and then right behind him a great battle here McClure Yoho and Fowler so we've lost Bryson Neal from that group oh we're out in the fields and McGill is challenging Bithel, and that's how you do it. He's working completely different lines. You saw in that one corner, McGill was probably about seven feet to the left of Bithel, and just how you stay out of the dust. And that's not only to be able to see, to see him using different lines again. Starts on the outside, ends up on the inside, vice versa. The fans are out there with goggles on as well, and they're cheering on these guys and probably a couple of the local favorites of them that are in the amateur classes right now. But if you get in the dust, obviously that's going to make it harder to breathe. And these are two-hour races. You don't want to eat dust for two hours. And the machine is going to have to eat that dust as well up in the airbox. So there's a variety of reasons why McGill would want to go to the lead, and he just struck. Found an opening with a new line in the woods where there wasn't any dust, and he absolutely took control. Man, McGill means business this year. And so does Jared McClure leaping through to close the gap on Boric in a fight for third. And here comes Fowler as well. So those two have broken free. And they might make it a, what, five rider battle for the lead? I think the lead will keep tabs. Oh, I thought for a moment Bithel got McGill back, but McGill is just ahead. And there is a lap rider. What? Wait, that's not a lap rider, that's Fowler. Where did Walker Fowler come from? He has moved all the way up to second place. That's gonna shove Boric and McClure further back. Try to reset it again. This is McGill. This is Bithel. So just as quickly as Fowler moved up, they pushed him back. Now Fowler comes through in third. Where's Boric? This is McClure. And what a race they're having as they get out into the fields. So two different two rider battles. You have McGill and Bithel now 1-2. And we have Fowler and McClure 3-4. Yes, I know that rhymes. But where is Chris Boric? We'll need a reset here at the end of this lap. We'll give you the tail of the tape in just a moment. We know this, McGill is not only the leader, but the lead is growing. 
And just as quickly as they say that, they get back in the woods and Fowler has struck again. So the Infab Ampro Yamaha man, Fowler was about eighth early in this one. Remember, he was at the very tail end of the lead pack. He has methodically worked his way up and then struck with aggression in a few spots. So now the battle is on between the riders that are one, two of points and some of the amateur riders out there are cheering McGill on. They want to see him make a run for it. Fifth will push back to third. Forge still in the picture. He's fourth ahead of McClure. Racer TV is brought to you by Amsoil. And by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Battle is on here. Tomahawk GNCC, you have the NFAB Ampro Yamaha of Walker Fowler. Actually, he has gotten away. That's lap traffic between he and second place. Adam McGill, Fowler is just flying. Saving his best stuff for last. Now in the waning moments of this one, didn't have a good start. Wasn't great on the opening lap. He kept closing the gap on the leaders. And eventually, once he's gotten around McGill, McGill just not able to answer today. Although still a good run for your points leader on the CST Pirate MX tire blocks machine. Here he is. Course really cool here. It gives you a good mix of everything. As we see McClure on the JMR ATV Riders.com Honda up to third. And Chris Borich not too far back. So the rider who's missed out since our last update was Bithel, who was third. He must be fifth. And I don't know if anyone has a chance to be first except for this man. Now, anything could happen in GNCC racing, especially this year. It has been exceptionally mixed up. And I think that's all a byproduct. As you watch McGill try to deal with McClure here, I think it's all a byproduct of the troubles for your champion, Chris Borch. That usually puts everyone in line. They know where they stand. They're all on the outside looking in of a championship. But this year, Borch has been good but not great. And that has opened the door for everyone else to have confidence and believe they can get the job done. And we've seen everyone step up. You knew Walker Fowler would be a contender this year. But everyone else, McGill and McClure, who are still fighting for it here, they have upped their game. And Boric having to deal with it. He's fourth right now. Not a bad race for him. But he would like to be on the podium. Meanwhile, it's starting to round out. Fowler into the fields. And when he's on, when he's hammering, the speed is impressive. And he has a good time with it as well, even wheeling through here just for kicks. Got the and pro Yamaha folks with the pit boards out, cheering him in the field, and this has gone from what appeared to be a barn burner of a race for the win into basically a fight for second, third, and fourth, and what a fight it is. I mean, what a fight. It looks like Boric, I think, is in the middle now. He's gotten around McClure, then he makes a mistake, they bump! McClure almost flips it, and through all that board, still able to close right up on McGill. Signs of life from the champ. This is vintage Chris Boric in these field sections. He has made his money eating these guys up, working insides and outsides. Oh, it would be great to see him pull some of those old tricks out and maybe make a run at Fowler, who does appear to have it under control at the moment. Still battling. And that is McGill on the left with the blue and green gear just ahead of Boric. And they're dusting out everyone else. I think that's a lap rider behind them, or is that still McClure? It's hard to tell in these conditions, and I don't think they're counting either. They just see someone in front. They're trying to make passes. Fowler's making sure they don't see him as he gets away. Last lap of this one. And you can see the pace has picked up. The distinctive sound of these guys revving it out on the final lap. Wait a minute, that's Boric stuck in the field. Wow, and as we mentioned, it's the last lap. So his race, which could have been a second or a third or a fourth, something along those lines, it's up almost literally in smoke. No challenge, though, for Walker Fowler. He's got this one tucked away, providing he doesn't have the same bad luck that Boric just had. And Racing for two hours in the rough and tumble world of Amsoil Grand National Cross Country Racing. No leader is safe. McGill settling into second. 
and a pretty good gap now built up over what could have been Borich, but now it should be solidly McClure all by himself. And lap traffic a big factor here as well. These guys are getting jammed in. Big crowd on hand. There's the four of McClure, hoping that lap traffic maybe slows up McGill just a bit. Fowler going one hand through the field. He has got this one under control. It'll be his third win of the year, but the problem this season has been consistency. He also has a sixth place finish and was 11th at the last round. So he still has a lot of ground to make up in the championship, and that's how you do it. You get those perfect days, 30 points for a win. 25 points going to go to Gill, who finishes up second. And we'll wait on McClure, see if he can hold on for third. This is happening more and more. It'll be three third place finishes in a row for McClure. And here's the results brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Bithel fourth, that was solid, and a nice run for Ryan Wolf on the fast tracks machine ahead of BNRs. Kevin Yoho, Neil Wolf, Merritt, Shadron, round out your top 10. Time for your Ramsoil race recap. Whole shot for Chris Bithel, Chris Boric right behind him. The Killer Beast off for the races. Good early pace. Price and Neil there are the number six with them, but soon the aggressors would be Adam McGill and Walker Fowler. Fowler made that pass on McGill to take over the lead. We anticipated a big battle between those two, but not today. Fowler just found another gear. So we shifted the coverage back to this great fight for second, third, fourth. McGill, Borich, McClure fighting until Borich's machine let go of the last lap. Fowler takes the win. McGill still the points leader by 13. We'll see you next week.